Alrighty folks, here we go, Ravid's back again, obviously. <laughs> I've been trying to brainstorm what I can showcase for you guys now, because I've pretty much covered everything to be honest, but um, I somewhat brainstormed an idea this afternoon, in that I'd like to showcase some films that I have on tape that I, you know, most want to see a Blu-ray releases off. Now whether that will actually happen or not, I don't know, because these are really quite obscure films. So, um, unfortunately, I don't know, I, I'm guessing that some of them will eventually get disc releases, but, um, yeah, I don't know, as I say, they're, they're pretty, uh, uh, pretty old films and pretty sort of swept away films, if you know what I mean, so, we shall kick it off now, folks, with, um, Shark Hunter, now I'm a, I'm a massive fan of Franco Nero, and Shark Hunter never ever gets talked about, and it, it, it's fun, I mean, it's not, it's not a fantastic film, you know, but it, it it is fun, you know, and, and you guys know what I'm like. I like these trashy old 80s fun films, and I, I think a lot of you guys will dig it. Shark Hunter's really quite entertaining, and I'm quite astonished, you know, given that Franco Nero is, is quite a popular actor all around the world, and there is honestly no disc release of that. Um, a, a nice Blu-ray release would be fantastic, along with... Fernando Baldi's War Bus. Now, this is amazing. It's somewhat an early version of uh, John Woo's uh, Hero Shed No Tears. It's that. It's kind of scripted very similar, um, and it is fantastic. I'm almost positive that the VHS here in Australia is cut. Um, I would probably put money on it. And there is a laser disc, but look, guys, that's about it. Um, so... Yeah, man, honestly, a Blu-ray of that would really make me happy. You know, I would be as happy as when Robo War came out on, on Blu-ray on Severin. You know, like, this is really a fantastic film. And another I keep crapping on about is Mercenary. Commonly known as Cannibal Mercenary. Um, there was, like, a grey area sort of DVD issued some time back, but I, I never got one myself, but people were telling me that my... DVD-R rip off of my tape was better quality, which um, kind of astonished me, because it wasn't, from memory, a cheap DVD. It was on Amazon and all that, and kind of disappeared. Um, the problem therein lies with that no one really knows who owns the rights to this film, so it's kind of in limbo, which is really quite a shame, because as I keep telling you guys, it is 100% the most gory jungle action I ever made, and it is fantastic. Blasting Bullets, now look, there was a South African DVD, which I actually have, and the quality is fantastic, but I would really, really love to get a Blu-ray of this. This is my favourite Filipino action of film ever made. It is fantastic. It is so violent, um, and is action start to end. Like, you guys would adore this film. You may be able to watch it online um, via download and such, but I honestly haven't even looked into that. As I say, I've, I've already got the DVD, but... A Blu-ray would be amazing, along with uh, Antonio Margheriti's Indio, and again, I'm astonished there's no disc release of this that I know of. A Blu-ray of this would be fucking amazing. It is essentially a Rambo rip-off, and it's even got Brian Dennehy in it as well, um, pretty much taking over the same role that he played in Rambo, and it, it's amazing. This is such a great film, and it never gets talked about, along with Wheels of Fire. Now, there was a DVD of this. But, again, it's like a grey area bootleggy type thing. And this is amazing. This is a remake, a television remake of The Car. You know, the film The Car, the black sort of hearse-looking thing that flies around and runs people over. Uh, and this is great. Um, oddly, back in the day, I didn't think it was that fantastic. But these days, um, I kind of watch this thing every year. It's, it's really, really good. Uh, a Blu-ray of that would make me a very happy person. Along with Mirage, I know I keep crapping on about Mirage, but this is fucking amazing. It's like these young cunts that go out in the desert to drink and fuck around, and there's a guy in like a black pickup pictured there who is bumping them off Friday 13th style one by one, and it is so good. This is such a great film. I tried to find the Australian VHS for the last 15 years, and I gave up, so I had to pay for this. Japanese tape, and it wasn't cheap, but I can't stress enough how great this film is. Um, now, another one you never, ever even hear about, like, people never talk about this film. It's called The Hard Way. Now, it stars Miles O'Keefe and Henry Silver. 
and it's another jungle action uh, and of course this is a Japanese tape and the print quality is fantastic and it's very violent and again action packed start to end it is so fucking entertaining um, and the death of Henry Silver at the end had me crying with laughter like it's so over the top I'm not going to tell you how but the way he dies is fucking astonishing and um, it's just great like, like I really 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 want a fucking Blu-ray at that it's fantastic Master Blaster, now look, there's a German DVD and the quality is okay. It's not obviously Blu-ray quality, which is why I've included this now. And this is amazing. I have spoke about this film probably too many times in the past. It's a, a big paintball tournament and same thing, you know, people are getting uh, bumped off Friday 13th style one by one. You don't find out who the killer is till the end. I, I thought it was scripted quite well and it's very entertaining and there's actually quite a few laughs in it as well. Um... And if you haven't seen it, I think you guys will really dig this film. It's a little bit similar to Zero Boys. Uh, it's that kind of film. Um, as I said, there is a DVD, but honestly, man, we need a Blu-ray. Um, Sparrow Unit, again, I've talked about it too much, but I, man, I really, really, really want a Blu-ray of this so bad. Um, it's similar, I guess, in a way to Blasting Bullets. Um, given that it's a Filipino action, or again, it's hyper-violent. We have action start to end, and uh, it's quite rare. This tape is really, really rare, and the film is just so great. It, as I said, it's chock full of violence. Um, a bit of a trend here, guys. You know, as you've noticed, I'm a massive fan of Filipino films, and Tough Cop is, is one as well. And it's got Rom Kristoff and... Um, yeah, quite quite a few uh, Filipino action regulars, and, and again, this is amazing. It, it kind of starts off as like a lethal weapon ripoff, and then the second half of the film sort of delves into jungle action and territory, and it's again, it's amazing. And and this is why I love Filipino films. They are so violent and so full of action and so silly and so entertaining all in one. I mean, beer and pizza cinema is a term I use a lot, and and this is one of those, and it, it it's great. Like this film is fucking fantastic now hunter's blood i've brought this up numerous times before and this really fucking boils my blood that we don't even have a dvd release of this and again i would be so fucking over the moon if we you know did have a dvd of this now the the killer hillbilly type films you know like deliverance um you know uh just before dawn all that sort of thing well this is the king of those films if you haven't seen it, it it's absolutely astonishing and again very violent extremely well scripted very entertaining um you know inbred hillbillies bumping these guys off who, who go out on a hunting trip and it's it's just it's great it's absolutely magic and this film Honestly, honestly deserves a Blu-ray release so bad, and it's so popular. Every time I post pictures of this on Facebook or even mention it, like, people are all over it. It's massively popular. Now, Bells, same deal. There's no, not even a DVD of this, and this is fantastic. Now, I kind of had this sitting in my collection, sorry, my collection for about 12 years. I thought, nah, it'd be boring rubbish, and it's not. It's, it's very entertaining, um, fantastic. I can't remember how the guy's doing it, but he's actually making public phone boxes call and stuff like that. And when people pick it up, um, they get electrocuted to death. And that may sound a bit stupid, but believe me, it's, it's not. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's a really well-done film, and it honestly really deserves a disc release. Along with um, Lamberto Barber's Graveyard Disturbance, unfortunately, I only have this old UK um, VHS here. And it is kind of idiotic. It, it is obviously, you know, a, a stupidy type film, but it's so entertaining. And I mean massively entertaining, uh, very atmospheric, and massively recommended. From memory, there's a UK DVD, but my UK buddies tell me that the print quality is absolutely dreadful. So I've kind of avoided it. And uh, I can't recommend it enough. Seriously, Graveyard Disturbance is fantastic. Now, fortunately, they... Uh, cover on this one is faded but trapper county war is is fantastic it's sort of like a, a hillbilly vigilante film if you will and um there was a dvd out some time back but again it's a gray area type thing and even that one sells for a couple hundred bucks which is mad um they actually released a novelty video of this here but i've never been able to find it one of my two of my friends actually have it and it's like a 3d pop-up cover with like uh how do I explain it? Like like foam pieces sort of glued onto it, and it looks amazing. But unfortunately, this is the only copy I've ever got. 
And again, it's massively entertaining. Trapper County War is fantastic. I think you guys watching this will absolutely love that film. Now, we're going to finish up, guys, with the Thunder series. Now, Mark Gregory stars in all of these, of course. So you've got Thunder 1, 2, and 3. A lot of people argue that, oh, they are only like number one. But, you know, I like them all, man. They're fantastic. Bo Stevenson is in, um, actually, he's in all of them. No, he's in number one and two, actually. Uh, and, and they're just great. Again, these are Rambo ripoffs. And um, under a pseudonym, Larry Lud Ludeman, I think. And who the actual director is, I can't fucking think offhand now. But, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're amazing. I mean, even the music scores and such on these are fantastic. And it's not only me. There's numerous guys have posted on Severin's um, page on Facebook and such like myself, like begging for these to come out on, on Blu-ray. But the, the problem is apparently trying to deal with, especially Flora Pictures and, um, you know, generally Italian right holders to these films. Apparently it's very hard to strike a deal with these people. So that's why a lot of this shit sort of remains in limbo. And it's such a shame because, like, I cannot stress enough, guys, how amazing the Thunder films are. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. We're going to wrap it up at that. And uh, I'll see what I can brainstorm for the next one. Thanks for watching.